probably what really I'm going to take away is um, being okay with the kingdom coming slowly. Mm, right. Because that's the thing. I get frustrated, mm. and I get angry, and then I get fatigued, and then I get... But say, it's okay. It's, it's a slow kingdom coming. It's yep. here. You said it's here, mm -hmm. and not fully realized. Yep. But we're going to keep our hope in that. Yep. How did you come to that awareness, or where did you come to this idea of slow kingdom coming? Yeah, it's like you know, writing or preaching kind of preach to myself first. Yeah. You know, so I think feeling that, that impatience, too, of... Uh, whether it's in the U.S. or working in Haiti, that, man, I just wish it came mm -hmm. more quickly to see people suffering and so much and for so long and thinking, you know, that can lead me in a few different directions that are unhealthy. I get numb to it mm -hmm. and I put my head in the sand or I feel paralyzed because it's all so complex or else I have the impulse to just change it on my own and mm -hmm. whatever, by whatever means necessary. Hammer it and do it, so, yeah. so I think it's the fact that I've done all those wrong and then this this phrase, Slow Kingdom Coming, came sort of halfway through writing the book and it clicked and I thought, oh, that's the phrase. I don't even know exactly what it means, but mm -hmm. that names I'm doing. And then it was actually writing the last chapter, I realized, oh, the reason it clicked is it's a way in one phrase that I can lament mm -hmm. and feel this the sadness of the Slow Kingdom Coming but I can declare my hope at the same time mm -hmm. I'm lamenting, saying mm -hmm. the kingdom is coming, we see it and we think it's going to come more fully, and this is what I want to be part of, mm -hmm. and so I can be committed. So mm -hmm. it, it sort of clicked in this way of uh, unhealthy ways, and it clicked as this way to lament and hope and be committed. And That's I, awesome. I That's really, really great. Hope.